What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Eddie Hearn and Jarrell Miller. Um, I did a video yesterday giving you guys the scoop on what was said between Jarrell Miller and Eddie Hearn. And Hearn explained where Jarrell threatened him, okay? Pretty much saying, I'm going to have somebody to roll up on you, you know, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> when he comes back to New York. And my counterpunch to that, I've been reading the um, comments, okay? And um, let me see if I got them here so I can... Um, No, I don't have them here. It's probably in this phone. But anyway, Jarrell Miller, though, has to have some huge King Kong-sized balls. You know, because, like, him saying that to Eddie Hearn, right, doesn't he know that that guy could have canceled him? Like, I mean, that could have, he could have reported him in some type of week, because I mean, that was in England, right? So, you know, he could have went to the authorities and said, well, uh, you know, I was just threatened. My life was just threatened. You know what I mean? And it also shows that Eddie Hearn is not really, a, you know, he's, he has thicker skin than people think he has because had Eddie Hearn been a scary ass dude, like a kind of a timid, frightened, scary guy, he would have done that. He would have like, you know what? Like, I don't want Jarrell Miller on the card. Replace him. Get get Derek Chisora in there, you know, to take on, you know, um, um, uh, Daniel Dubois because Jarrell Miller just threatened my life. You know what I'm saying? He just threatened my life. Like, so I, I don't feel I don't feel comfortable around him. He walked up to me and he said these things. If I'm in a certain place that he's going to get someone to get at me and to hurt me or to possibly kill me. You know what I mean? So I don't want him on the card. You know what I'm saying? Because like you, I know these were different promoters. You know, you had Frank Warren, Demetrius Salida, Eddie Hearn. You had a lot of guys. Bob Arum was included with his fighters. You know, 16, I think different. It's a lot of a lot of different promoters. But, you know, Eddie Hearn by far was one of the ones with, you know, he has the guy that's on the main or co-main event or the flip of a coin, right? So, right. So that's the guy that's in charge of the biggest fight or one of the biggest fights on the whole card. And you're going to go after him like that. Jarrell Miller's showing some King Kong-sized balls, people. You know, a lot of people say that's reckless and it wasn't very smart. No, it wasn't. It wasn't very smart to do that. You know, um, now, Jarrell Miller is probably one of those people who could say, man, I was just kidding. You know what I mean? I was just kidding just to spice things up and blah, 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 blah. But really, he didn't say it to the public. He said it in private to Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? That, hey, I'm going to roll up on you. I'm going to get somebody to roll up on you. Yeah, that's his mind. I know what you did. You know, and, you know, Eddie was like, hey, go F yourself. Which was, hey, a good response. You know what I mean? A good um, non-spineless response from Eddie Hearn. You know, but, like, it also, you could also read into the point where uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, could could imply, like, okay, well, he's saying stuff like that and, you know, slamming and, you know, well, you know what, that was before where Jarrell Miller, you know, comes out and says those type of things, you know, that could, that could convey road rage or, or should I say roid rage, right? You know, doing things like that. And I just think it was just very reckless, very ballsy, but very stupid on Jarrell Miller's behalf to do something like that, you know? And no, I was thinking though, um, him slamming the table. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't keeping my mouth shut, right? And all that stuff, you know. And then it would it would happen to have you'd happen to have several drugs in your system, you know. So, you know, could that um, be ruled as a roid rage episode <laughs> by Jarrell Miller? You know what I'm saying? Because you know we know he's a charismatic guy and he's a shit talk and all that stuff. You know, the bad guy. I get it, but you know that's just not smart. You know what I mean? It's not smart at all. So again, I think that was absolutely ballsy from uh, Jarrell Miller, you know, and I really give them both props because I mean, Eddie Hearn, it was worth mentioning like what Jarrell Miller did, but you, he didn't mention it right away. 
You see what I mean? That shit was two weeks ago now. Day of Reckoning and, you know, this whole big layout, this, this you know, this phenomenal uh, card uh, happened over two weeks ago. So we know everybody's fighting. So they're on training right now. So they're doing this, you know, this fast, quick training. You know, AJ's over there with Ben Davison and Wilder's training and Parker's training and all these guys are training, you know, so... You know, so, I mean, that wasn't the first thing that was said So because it was so many other things that were more important than that, but it was eventually said by Eddie Hearn. So he didn't really put that high priority either. And that uh, that could also mean like, okay, he was scared or that was bothering him to bring or to mention that up, uh, to mention that first. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but you guys tell me what you think of Jarrell Miller again, doing something that crazy. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.